Hello everybody, welcome to my channel today. So about a week or so ago, I posted on my Instagram that I bought one of those Revlon volumizing hair styler, this thing. <laughs> and so many of you uh, asked me questions about it, what were my thoughts, because this seems to be a lot of buzz about this product. Um, I actually first saw about it about a year ago, I think it was Lisa J used it. And I mean, it looked really nice and interesting, but I just kind of thought, hmm, I don't know. Then slowly but surely, I started seeing more YouTubers talk about it and people that I subscribe to, and they were all saying they bought it with their own money. It wasn't like it was sponsored or they received it as PR. So it started piquing my interest more and more. But I had just bought my Dyson. Um, I got that for my birthday in November. So I thought, well, I'm not buying any more hair gadgets for the moment. But still hearing so much buzz. Um, I saw one at, well, somebody else posted that they saw them at London Drug, so I quickly ran and grabbed one. And like I said, so many of you have asked me about it. So I have been playing with it for a week and I thought I would do a film a tutorial. So I'm actually in my bathroom. Um, so I've never done that before. So please bear with me. I got a new video camera for Christmas. So I'm messing like a portable one so I that was my first time filming something so hopefully it works out and um, so I actually did a full demo using it and showing you guys in action and it was also kind of a hair tutorial so many of you asked me for hair tutorials and so I have not one now with the Revlon but I will also do one using my Dyson um, which is the same technique I've been using for years and years and years and years of how I do my hair so um, but it is very similar to what I just did with the Revlon but this video is solely about this Revlon styler so if you want to see me use it just keep watching and at the end of the video I will give you guys my final thoughts and review so just keep watching okay so this is my first time filming in my bathroom using this new little gadgety thing I got for Christmas. It's called a DJ Osmo pocket and it's just a little handheld video camera so I'm going to try and do my hair. And as promised I am doing a um, blow dry hair tutorial for you so I'm going to show you right from the very beginning. So this is uh, washed hair and it's in my Acqui. Um, turby towels you can see it's it absorbs so much moisture so I would say it's about 80% dry so every time I wash my hair I first start with a detangling spray this is the Shampure thermal dry conditioner I know it sounds different but the lady at Aveda said I can use it as a detangler so I just kind of spray that through and then I use my wet um, hairbrush, and it is amazing for brushing through wet hair. I've actually bought these for pretty much every girl in my family <laughs> because they're so handy, especially for young girls who have long hair, uh, little girls when their hair is so fine and gets tangled so easily. Um, they're really great, and for me. There, I just quickly brush through and the next product I put in is some sort of volumizing mousse and this one is from Unite. I'm not crazy about it, it's actually almost empty but what I do like about it, it's kind of got a nozzle here and I can spray it right in the roots. There we go. I'm just kind of rub that through. And then I always spray some sort of volumizing spray. This one is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening. It's okay, I've been using it for years and I've got about 50 bottles of them. I don't know where they all came from, but they multiply. So just getting through those. I always use some sort of a um, styling cream, blow drying cream, and this one is from Bumble and Bumble. It's called all style blow dry. I've used one that was called Straight from Bumble and Bumble. That is, oops, that's too much. Um, is my preference. But I ran out and I'm going to use this one up. So that's about how much. And I just kind of rub that through my fingers. I kind of focus on the ends. And this just smooths out my hair and preps it for blow drying. And then lastly, I always put in some sort of heat protectant. This is the Alterna Caviar CC. 
And same thing, I just use like a little dollop of that. And this is a sample bottle and it's just a heat protectant. And again, I just rub that in my hands and just rub it through my hair. Now I normally pre-blow dry my hair a bit to get it even more dry than this, but I've used this Revlon Styler twice now. And the first time I did that, I used my Dyson just to pre-dry it. And then the second time I used it, I just went right in and used the Revlon and I preferred how my hair turned out by not pre-drying it. So I'm gonna do that again today. So I'm just parting it in its proper position. And here we go. And then I take three quarters of my hair. So I just leave kind of the bottom out. And I twist it up and just secure it with a clip. Now this is the same technique, everything I've done so far, this is the same as when I use my Dyson, but this is, the styling on this is just slightly different with the Revlon. So here she is, and now I'm just gonna show you what I do as I basically just go through my head section by section. So I'm gonna film the whole thing. I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of talking, but for the most part, I'm gonna speed fast forward. So um, here is how you turn it on and off. It's kind of a rotary. jet engine <laughs> so there we go that's the first layer and it just makes it so smooth I can't believe it <laughs> so now the next layer I pretty much do I think four sections of my whole head give or take and I've been doing my hair like this forever so this isn't anything new it's just the um, device that's different. So here we go again. good for this side and then my bangs because they're a bit thicker. Here we go again.
split this one in half as well, just because this is kind of the most important piece. Because I want this to be really nice and smooth. desperate need of a haircut um, but I turn out pretty nice so let me get dressed and finish up and I will give you guys my final thoughts in my filming room where I have better lighting and I will report back to my final thoughts so I'll see you in a minute bye okay so this is my hair I've just done it you guys watched me film it and I love it so it's not as uh, full of volume, I think, as I personally would prefer. I do like a little bit more va va voom, um, but what I do like is it mimics a hair straightener, but not as flat. I do have a flat iron, but I find that when I use it, then my hair is really, really flat, and I have to do so much to try and get some sort of volume. What I also really like about this um, technique is when I use my round brush, um, that's what I've been using for eons and eons and eons, is it kind of gives me that round, old-fashioned, curled under bob. And I do kind of like that, but I also enjoy this very smooth, sleek, straight version as well. And I find it dries my hair faster. Um, probably the first time I used it, as I mentioned, I had used the Dyson first and just really, really, really dried my hair. Like I would say 90% dry. Um, but I didn't like how my hair turned out as much when I did both techniques. So the past couple times that I've done my hair, I have just used this right from the get-go. So it doesn't dry it as fast um, because I do have to work it through quite a bit to get all that moisture out. But for the most part, um, it is pretty quick. Um, so I do enjoy that about it. I do enjoy that it's an all-in-one tool that I can probably wouldn't travel with it because it is pretty bulky but it is very light um, but it's your brush sorry there's lots of hair in it I know that's gross um, it does um, it, it is it is large but it's light so I guess you could travel with it I haven't really looked into the um, ample uh, the wattage so if you can take it overseas I don't know but anyway you probably could travel with it and it's an all-in-one which I really enjoy it did take a little bit of getting used to because it is kind of an oval as opposed to round and this is a pretty bulky and big handle and I also prefer um, the handle on the round brushes that I always buy I always buy like a rubbery silicone because I find it's not as slippery this one is pretty slippery on your hands when you're trying to turn and, and maneuver but I do like how it has this other end that you can hold on to it so you kind of have a little bit more control really really enjoy that the bottom where it's just kind of a dial it's a little interesting a little different um, there are four settings there's the um, off cool low and high I've only used it on high um, the cooling setting is probably a good idea because then it can um, when you do a cool shot, apparently it's supposed to hold the style. I have noticed that it does stay smooth and straight 
from the first day I do it until the next day I wash, which is great because I usually wash my hair every third day and it does keep it nice and smooth and straight, but it doesn't keep the style. Um, Risa from Risa Does Makeup said that her hair style lasted the entire time um, as if she'd gone for a professional blow dry. I don't agree, but maybe it's just my technique. Maybe I need to play with it a little bit more. I don't know, but um, I didn't have that, but I did keep the nice smooth straight um, results. The other thing, and this is kind of an unknown, is I'm not quite sure what the long-term effects are. I don't know if it's damaging my hair because this gets pretty darn hot and I am blow drying it so close to my hair. I don't know. Um, I haven't seen any studies on it. I don't know, but that's one of the things that Dyson says is that it's um, better for your hair and won't damage it. So that's something to consider. It has a great price point. I paid, I think, $60 for this. As I've mentioned um, in my haul, I have seen these on Amazon for close to $200, which is gouging you. So just so you know, um, if you're a Canadian, this should be anywhere between $50 and $70, depending where you buy it and if it's on sale and all that kind of stuff. I think I saw it for $55 or maybe $59 at Walmart. Um, so don't be fooled if you see it unless you're desperate to get it, but it should not be close to $200. Um, so the price point is great. Overall, I really, really like this. I've only had it a short time, but it's, it's definitely a wow factor and it's not like with my Dyson and it's no secret. I've told you guys that I was very underwhelmed by that. I just don't see what all the fuss is about and I think it's extremely overpriced and I didn't have any wow factor um, from day one and I've now had it for four or five months and I still have the same opinion. It's just okay. Whereas this, it's like, okay, wow. <laughs> I really, really like this and I plan to buy this as gifts for some of my friends and family. My mom is gonna get one for Mother's Day so hopefully she's not watching this uh, because I think she will really, really enjoy it. So overall, I absolutely love it and highly recommend it. But like I said, I don't know what the long-term effects are as far as it may be being damaging to your hair. I don't know if it's long-lasting. I mean, maybe these are just gonna break after a short time and there's probably not really much warranty. But I think for $60, I think it's an excellent value and I absolutely love it. So thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye.